Hey Aries, welcome to Sexy Tarot. My name is Asia and I will be doing your tarot reading today. Please like, subscribe, and comment if this reading resonates with you. This reading may be helpful if you have Aries in your sun, rising, moon, or Venus sign. This reading may not resonate with all Aries as I am reading the strongest energies from Aries. Now let's begin your reading for the week of December 1st through December 7th, 2019, Aries. First, let's pull a guardian angel card for you. Guardian angel. Whoop. A happy change, Aries. Aries, as I was meditating on your spirit, what I was getting was that you've been going through a lot of adversity. Something's been trying, plugging you. Having you in like a nine of swords type energy. I'm sensing a lot of worry, Aries. I'm sensing a broken heart. Or maybe that dream that you want to bring into fruition is like really moving very slow. Aries, you're a warrior. You're a fighter. You can do this. Your guardian angels want you to know that that cycle is ending. And that happy change is awaiting you. Your angels have heard your prayers and have banded together to create real and joyful changes in your life. Events begin to move forward and great progress will now be possible. You may need to make some rapid decisions due to the suddenness of activity. Be confident and trust the guidance you receive. Aries, also what I'm getting is to relay this message. Finish what you start. Finish what you start. I keep hearing, finish what you start. Have confidence. Don't move too fast, Aries. You may need to make a fast decision. But stick with your plan. Don't allow a new idea to jump in and take over your old plan. I don't know. I was told to deliver that message. Aries, let's find out what energy is surrounding you. What energy is surrounding Aries spirit? 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 Aries, you have storm warning. Aries, you have strategy. Aries, you have victory. Aries, you have healer of the ages. Aries, again, with this storm warning, there's a 10 marking the end of this cycle. I ask that you weather the storm. It's not going to last. You may already feel the happy change occurring for you, Aries, but we're going to clarify the storm warning and find out why it is here, Aries. Spirit. Why storm warning here for Aries? Why storm warning here for Aries, Spirit? Why storm warning here for Aries? It is clarified by the Queen of Cups. This is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Aries, what I'm getting is that um, this Queen of Cups, she's very emotional. It could be male or female. These are energies we're dealing with. However, this person is very emotional and this person makes you feel burdened. Maybe they express some emotions to you that you're not ready to deal with because you're busy. You have a lot going on. Like your focus is on your coins maybe. Your focus may be on your home life. You know, but this person right now, they actually mean no harm. But it's a burden to you, dear Aries. Why is the Queen of Cups here with Storm Warning for Aries? Why is the Queen of Cups here? 
Why is the Queen of Cups here with storm warning for Aries? Five of Pentacles. I'm feeling that this water sign or this emotional energy is feeling left out in the cold by you, dear Aries. And it actually worries you. Like, your intention is not to hurt anyone's feelings. It's just that you're focused. So maybe you ghosted this person. Maybe they're reaching out to you and you're not responding. Leaving them in the Five of Pentacles energy. Just feeling left out in the cold. Chased away from a home. Let's clarify. Spirit. Why is the Five of Pentacles here for Aries? Why is the Five of Pentacles here for Aries, Spirit? Why is the Five of Pentacles here for Aries? King of Pentacles. Yeah. Aries, as I previously stated, I believe that you're actually focusing on your coins. I think right now you're just about your business for stability. Maybe there was a shakeup in your home life. Maybe you're feeling left out in the cold. Too many emotions with this Queen of Cups energy. And, and right now you don't have time to be emotional. Aries wants to have. You know, you're being very logical right now. And you're like, listen, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for these emotions. I need to focus on what I'm doing. And it's causing you to feel like something's brewing. Like you're not even comfortable hurting people's feelings. And that is truly not your intention. Why is the King of Pentacles here for Aries? Why is the King of Pentacles here for Aries? Spirit. Why is the Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles here for Aries? Why is the King of Pentacles here? Four of Wands. Aries, you feel like I have to stick to this plan, become stable, get my life together, because I'm looking for balance. I'm looking for balance. I want a happy life. You know, Aries, maybe there was a storm warning in your home. And this energy brought these emotions that said, you know what? I can't focus on this right now. I need to be focused on my coins. And it caused a shakeup in your home life. Or maybe you're trying to reach stability within your home life. But Aries, I must be honest, I'm feeling like this storm warning occurred in your home. And you're trying to find balance and bring the stability back. Which is causing you to be strategic. Aries, you have strategy. Spirit. Why is strategy here for Aries? Why is strategy here for Aries, Spirit? Why is strategy here? The High Priestess. Aries, the High Priestess energy, she knows. This energy follows their intuition. They go within. They meditate. Aries, Spirit is calling on you to be strategic. Do not move rashly. And go within. All the answers you need are within yourself as indicated by the high priestess. The high priestess doesn't do too much talking. She just really knows the answers already. So Aries, are you being called to go within and become strategic? To get over this storm warning with all these emotions coming in that you're not ready to deal with because you moved ahead. Leaving someone out in the cold. Upsetting your home life, Aries. Spirit, why is the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here for Aries, spirit? Why is the high priestess here? 
Why is the high priestess here for every spirit? The knight of swords. This is fast, sharp communication. This knight of swords communicates, and he doesn't have the most tactful way of communicating. Aries. Spirit is calling on you to be strategic and go within. And maybe you need to watch your words so you don't hurt someone's feelings, leaving them out in the cold when all they're doing is expressing care and concern for you. But it's circumventing your plans of stability because you're worried about your home life. Aries, I getting the energy that maybe this is a third party situation already. I don't, I'm not sure. But um, did you make a boo-boo, Aries? Or did your partner make a boo-boo? Whatever it is, this communication is very sharp. Very sharp. Almost biting. No tag. Spirit, why is the Knight of Swords here for Aries? Why is the Knight of Swords here for Aries, Spirit? Spirit, why is the Knight of Swords here for Aries? Why is the Knight of Swords here? Six of Swords. Aries, did you cut someone out? Did you end something? This is Libra. Gemini, Aquarian energy. Aries, are you being strategic and keeping something to yourself and not really saying too much because someone came to you with sharp communication, leaving you left out in the cold, and you were feeling emotional, upsetting your home life, causing a storm warning, forcing you to become the king of pentacles, to become more stable, but in order to obtain that, you had to keep it moving. The Six of Swords energy. This is someone packing up saying, hey, I must move forward. I have to keep it moving despite what's facing me. I'm going to cut my losses here. Spirit, why is the Six of Swords here for Aries? Why is the Six of Swords here for Aries, Spirit? Why is the Six of Swords here for Aries? King of Pentacles. They go that King of Pentacles again. So, yeah, Aries. This is Capricorn. This is Virgo energy. This is Taurian energy. Aries, this is the second time you had the King of Pentacles. I believe you are being strategic and you're finally going within. This sharp communication that was given, I don't know if this was you, Aries, but somebody communicating and not tactful and it hurts your feelings, making you feel like the Queen of Cups, forcing you to leave your home with this Five of Pentacles energy. Causing you to become grounded and become the king of pentacles. Refocusing your direction for stability. Aries, you have victory. Aries, I'm feeling like this is a learning situation for you. This is going to help you level up, Aries. Do not be drowned in despair. You are leveling up. You're leveling up. Your guardian angels, spirit guides, and ancestors are with you, Aries. You are truly leveling up. Unfortunately, sometimes change is driven by trauma, a trigger. I mean, Change can be driven by good things as well. But Aries, just have faith. You have victory. Spirit, why is victory here for Aries? Why is victory here for Aries, Spirit? 
spirit? Why is victory here for Aries? Why is victory here for Aries? Five of Pentacles. Like I said, the, the trigger for change. Again, you have this Five of Pentacles energy. This energy of feeling left out in the cold. And you're like, you know what? I'm not giving up. This happened to me, causing me to feel emotional. And Aries, you're truly not very emotional people, so I think you've adopted this Queen of Cups energy. You weren't ready. This blindsided you. You found out something causing you to feel like you're left out of cold in the cold. You have this Five of Pentacles energy twice. Spirit, why is the Five of Pentacles here for Aries? Why is the Five of Pentacles here for Aries? Why is the Five of Pentacles here for Aries? The Magician. Okay, Aries, is this where your victory coming in at? This Magician has all the tools. This Magician has the coin, the pentacle, the wand, and the cup. This Magician uses all those tools to manifest what it wants into existence. So, Aries, did you discover your inner power? Were these emotions so strong, Aries? Causing you to go within and find your higher self? After being left out in the cold, causing you to manifest what you want into existence, allowing you to have victory there, Aries? I hope so. Spirit, clarify the magician for Aries. Clarify the magician for Aries, Spirit. Clarify the magician. Clarify the magician for every spirit. It is clarified by the two of pentacles. This is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. However, this two of pentacles, this guy is juggling. He's indecisive. He's trying to prioritize. Is this where the strategy is coming in at, Aries? Causing you to go within because you felt left out in the cold and then you're trying to manifest victory and you're trying to strategize and juggle and figure out what is the best way for you to obtain this goal, Aries? Spirit, why is the two of pentacles here for Aries? Why is the Two of Pentacles here for Aries Spirit? Five of Cups. This is regret. This is heartbreak. Aries, you only can truly manifest when you let go. This person looks like they're in despair. They're not open to love right now. These cups are turned over. This person is focused on the love that was. Something's ended here, Aries. And it was an emotional connection. Leaving you feeling full of despair. But Aries, spirit is calling on you to follow your heart. Go within with the high priestess energy. Call on your magician energy. You have all the tools within Aries to obtain victory. Stop focusing on this being left out in the cold. I know it's hard, Aries, but I promise you, you have all the tools. This regret and this despair will only put you in a place of depression. You can do this, Aries. You can do it. You ruled the head. This is why strategy is here. You're a warrior. Aries, 
you have healer of the ages this energy is a kind energy a listening energy an energy that when they engage in conversation they leave others feeling healed resolved within themselves full of answers Balance. Spirit, why is Hiller of the Ages here for Aries? Why is Hiller of the Ages here for Aries, Spirit? Spirit, why is Hiller of the Ages here for Aries? There it is. There it is, Aries. The Ten of Pentacles. Aries, if you remain strong, balanced, Keep your intentions pure. Don't think vindictively. The words within you, Aries, what will you do? But Aries, I'm telling you, if you say stay steadfast going within and embracing who you truly are and focus on your work and keep moving forward with the Six of Swords energy, Victory will be yours because you are the magician. You have everything that you need to come up out of this despair. Stop juggling back and forth, going in back and forth in your mind with indecision. And make this decision to move forward. I feel like you're juggling moving forward. You're focused. But you go back and forth with this despair and this Five of Cups energy. But this Ten of Pentacles can be yours, Aries. This is stability. Are you focusing on your work and this is how you're healing, Aries? Focusing on your work gives you great resolve. Makes you feel victorious. Because you're strategizing to come up out of the storm warning and not be so emotional based off of whatever occurred causing you to feel left out in the cold, upsetting your home. Spirit, why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Aries? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Aries, Spirit? Spirit, why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Aries? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? To a wands. Hmm. Aries, as I look at this two of wands card, this person is rope tied. Rope tied to two wands. One is the hand that's tied, and then on the other one the foot is tied. And this person is happily talking to a bird. This person is trying to send a message of balance and love, but they're indecisive. Somebody's not reciprocating here. You are holding yourself here in this indecision. This person can easily let that bird go. Stop sending this message that's not being heard by someone else. They can let this bird fly away and untie themselves. Look at what I'm talking about. Do you see that, Aries? This is voluntarily done. This person wants to be in this indecision. Whatever this passion is, Aries, it got to hold on you. It has a hold on you, Aries. You have to make a decision. They put a spell on you, Aries. Did this person cast a spell on you, Aries? Making you adopt this Queen of Cups energy? Causing you to have a storm inside? Making you feel left out in the cold because it wasn't reciprocated? And this person spoke very harshly to you, causing you to keep it moving. Looking for stability in this King of Pentacles energy. Hoping to find victory after being left out in the cold. Going back and forth, focused on this regret and this despair and this heartbreak. 
Spirit, clarify the two of wands for Aries. Clarify the two of wands for Aries, Spirit. Spirit, clarify the two of wands for Aries. Clarify the two of wands for Aries, Spirit. Clarify the two of wands for Aries, Spirit. The seven of wands. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Wands of fire energy. So Aries, this is how I know it's you. You're feeling defensive. Look at that. This person set up a barrier around them, and they have this wand like they're ready for war. They still have fight left in them. This person looks like, look, I had enough. I don't trust nothing. Don't come over here. You come over here, you're going to get what you're looking for. I had enough. You know, you got me all up in my head. I'm feeling emotional. This is uncharted territory for me. I'm an Aries and I'm a warrior. So Aries, although the Seven of Wands energy shows that you're being defensive, but this is where you're comfortable in. You like, don't come for me. Like, you made me let, feel left out in the cold, talking nasty to me. I had to keep it moving and rediscover myself with this King of Pentacle energy just to feel victory. You know, did this person work magic on you? Do you feel like they worked magic on you because they left you feeling despair and regret with this Five of Cups energy? And you like, you know what? That's enough. Don't come to hell over here no more. Don't come over here no more. Because I got something for you. Never again will I be caught in this energy. But Aries, I'm being told, don't, don't let your heart turn cold. I feel for you right now, Aries. There's a struggle going on within you. Spirit, why is the seven of wands here for Aries? Why is the seven of wands here for Aries? The star. This is wish fulfillment. Aries. The storm warning caused you to become very strategic. And your victory is coming because you're finally discovering your inner self with this high priestess energy causing you to become the healer of the ages. Ending and wish fulfillment. This is somebody that has all the ingredients. They're putting in what they want to get out. This person is keeping it moving. This is divine intervention. Your guardian angels, your spirit guides, your ancestors are hearing you, Aries. And they're responding. They're saying, Aries, go within. Do not be nasty. Don't, don't say nasty things. Be tactful in your communication. Just keep it moving, Aries. If you remain positive, victory is yours, Aries. And your, your, your spirit guides, the universe is responding with wish fulfillment. Aries, let's see if we can get some outcomes for you. Spirit, what is the outcome of the storm warning? What is the outcome of the storm warning, Spirit? Spirit, what is the outcome of the storm warning? What is the outcome of the storm warning? King of Pentacles, Aries, yeah, you're not playing. You're not playing. You're focused. This is one King of Pentacles. Two King of Pentacles. Three King of Pentacles. Aries, listen, listen, listen. I'm with you. This king said, you know what? I've been through the ringer. I know what it is that I need to do now. I'm not letting anything else distract me at all. I have things to do. You know, I went against my better judgment and I fell in love. I was all up in my emotions and it got me nowhere. So in order for me to obtain true happiness again at my home life, I have to be focused. I'm getting that the outcome for this storm warning is the King of Pentacles. Good job, Aries. 
And please understand, you have free will. So, I urge you, Aries, to continue to go within. You have free will. You, Aries, have the power to change this situation. Spirit, what is the outcome of strategy for Aries? What is the outcome of strategy for Aries? Nine of Wands. Hmm. You're almost there, Aries. Look at her. She's pouring her stars out. This is divine intervention. Someone sees your struggle. There's an energy surrounding you that is protecting you. And Aries, this is definitely about you because you're a fire sign. Fire. Nine. Almost done, Aries. Someone is looking out. You have an ancestor, a guardian angel, a spirit guide that's saying, Aries, I see your struggle. Let me drop these blessings into you. It's almost over. Go within, Aries. Do not focus on this harsh communication. Move forward and find your strength in this king of pentacles. Just stay focused on your work, Aries, and the universe will respond in kind. Spirit, what is the outcome for, vic for victory for Aries? What is the outcome? What is the outcome of this victory card for Aries? What is the outcome, Spirit? <laughs> Strength. Aries, I said you're leveling up. You're learning how to tame the beast. Are you being affected by Leo, Aries? However, the energies are telling me if you have strength to overcome this feeling of being left out in the cold and to manifest what you truly want, to stop being indecisive and focusing on this regret and adopt the strength that you need. Victory is yours, Aries. Do you have the strength to do this? Can you tame your passions? Can you tame the inner beast and not be so spiteful and communicate like this five of swords energy, but go within as the high priestess does, using your third eye, your intuition, to communicate with yourself. 